according to the article, he was working with two other people, and they don't say anything about the two other people. I wonder where they got to. You know, it's like it was a group of... Uh, uh, they say he was with three people that were out there, but he was the only one who was picked up, basically. So, okay, what happened to the other two or three that were out there? Especially if he's not from the area, you know, they're kind of going to stick out like a sore thumb. Well, <laughs> maybe he was the only one that was waving his gun around like a madman. Well, I would, I, I'm going to say again... If he was waving his gun around like a madman, we would have either two dead police officers and a dead person. That's a very real possibility. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, what, whatever situation right. happened there, no shots were fired, nobody right. was injured, but yet the guy was arrested with aggravated assault. Uh, Arizona just unmuted. Let's let him talk. Oh, boy, where do I start? I'll, I'll, first, I'm going to say something. I am not going to wade into a hostile envir environment. I'll answer your questions one at a time, and I am not going to be attacked. First off, let's let's get something straight on this, this flashlight stuff, okay? I noticed that there's a lot of people that come out here, and they got all their tactical gear, and they've got their quad rail, and they've got every accoutrement known to man attached to it, and they have to have a nuclear power plant to power it and the problem occurs is when these people have a flashlight attached to their fore end of their rifle and that's the only flashlight that they have and they want to illuminate a target well guess what they have to point their rifle at whatever they want to illuminate so I would suggest all to you people that want to have all these attachments onto your rifles and everything else like that that you might want to have for your safety and for your well-being that you might want to have a spare flashlight in your pocket. So when you want to shine a flashlight onto somebody at the side of the road or something and ask them what they're doing, that you're not having to point your rifle at somebody. This guy just got thrown in jail because he had his rifle pointed at somebody because that's where he had his flashlight attached. Okay, next question. Joe Pyle's statements. Uh, what's, what do you know about the statements he made on this? Well, they've been talking about it on the local radios. I haven't seen anything officially from the police or sheriff's department. But, uh, well, you know, maybe what we need to do is look back about two weeks ago when one of his sheriff deputies got shot in the head in his driveway at about 4 o'clock in the morning and Joe Arpaio issued all his, his deputies AR-15s and said that they need to be armed at all the time. So... You know, Joe Arpaio is the kind of either you love him or you hate him, and it's kind of you, you love to hate him and you hate to love him. I, I There's things that he's done that I appreciate, and there's the things that he's done that are not so good. Okay, but uh, I think what Henry was getting into was his statement about the militia that the D New York article claims that he made. We know it was taken out of context. We were wondering if you had a uh, source to go to to get all of what he was saying and it sounds like it's just the media is where you're able to get the information from yourself so that's a negative no, on all, being able to get the full all statement all I've heard is from the, the local news media as they came out and said that there was a statement from Joe Arpaio warning all civilian armed groups out patrolling in the desert that the next time that they point a rifle at one of his sheriff deputies that it's going to be followed by 30 bullets in their direction. Well, that's pretty much what that article said. Yes. Oh, and that's another thing, too, for everybody that's listening and it happens to be thinking about traveling down here. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Department is heavily patrolling that area on I-8 between at least mile marker 150 and 140, and they're beating the bush, conducting a witch hunt for any militia groups that are out there in that area. Does there that, you go. Does that mean no more uh, Operation Take Back the Night? As it stands right now, Operation Take Back the Night has been shut down until further notice. Okay. Well, then the article was correct. Well, the... You know, I ha I'm not exactly sure of the article that you're referring to, but the article, chances are it was a, a jump on from the AZ Central article that, that appeared earlier in the week about what had actually occurred there. And there were, generally it is true, but there are a lot of inaccuracies. Did the article mention that the sheriff's deputies were in an unmarked vehicle? It did. Yes, actually it did. Okay. Did it say that they were wearing camouflage clothes? 
Yes, yes sir. it did. Okay. Um, it, did it? Did it? It said that they were st they were at the side of the road, flashing their lights and honking their horn. But it, did it say that they had crossed the highway three times? No, it didn't say that. That yeah, part it, was did left it out. Did it say that they had pulled up about a mile before the incident occurred and sat there for at least a half an hour in a blacked out condition, observing the area in in with night vision goggles? It did not. It did not. And did it uh, did it mention that the sheriff's the Maricopa County Sheriff's Department had been in the area at one o'clock in the afternoon and had made contact with us and knew we were going to be there? Did it mention that? No, Negative. it didn't. Yeah. Well, you know, it's getting deeper. I'm certainly glad I got my boots on, but you know, okay, this is well, where we come with. <laughs> they with leave the a lot out. out. Well, wait a second. This is why we wanted uh, boots on the ground before we said anything, because uh, you know. Right. I, I was and picking apart the article, and it w it seemed like it was thrown together from bits and pieces. So exactly. thank you for coming and, up. Uh, one thing also that I mentioned, and I sent the article to Spike oh, about 11 days ago, about the $7.2 million that was uh, busted down on the Tahona Odom Indian Reservation. Yep, Spike, I read you that. recall that article? Yeah, I exactly. read that in my program. And, you know, since then, the Robert Crooks, the guy that was running Operation Take Back the Night, had gone in and spoke directly with the supervisor of the Casa Grande Border Patrol Office, and he had directly attributed our activities on Freeman Road, and that's at mile marker exit 140 on I-8, that he directly attributed our activities up there with that bust of $7.2 million down on the TO. And since then, individual Border Patrol agents have come up to the area, some that were actually involved in that bust, and pulled out their cameras and showed their individual personal photographs of that bust and said, thank you for what you're doing. And because of what you are doing, this is what we have actually achieved. But now since then, since this incident out here on Interstate 8, that the Border Patrol has been contacted, and their official word is, we have nothing to say. Wow. Now that was some information. All right. Now, uh, like confirmation, this guy was from outside the area for sure. When you say this guy, are you referring to the gentleman that the, was arrested? The person that was arrested you, who leveled the gun off at the officers. He was not local in any way. He was from north. He lived up. He lived up in the Phoenix Valley. Yes, sir. Yeah, he was up northern Arizona. He wasn't yeah. from the area that he was patrolling in. You are correct in your statement. Okay. He was not down here within the general area. No. Yeah. Thanks for coming up with that too. All right. So that answers like a couple of the questions that we had. Um, again, what was the newspaper where you were getting the initial report from? Because every time I've seen this report come up, it's got a different person's name on it, and I would like to track it back to the original source. Well, most likely the big Arizona re article or a newspaper here in the state of Arizona, is, it's, the website is azcentral.com. azcentral.com. All right, thank you, and I'll head over there and okay. see if I can find more of the stuff there. So again, Henry, uh, it actually, you know what, listening from the first-hand report, it sounds almost like uh, it's a, the sheriff and his deputies are more upset about the fact that you guys are out there doing a good job than... Well, we're making them set down their donuts and their coffee and we're making them out here and beat the bushes. Android.